Now that you've taken some time to get to know where C and F are, I think you're ready to meet the others. Can you please find me middle C again? You can press that note down. Now, have a look at the next white note to the right going up from C. That is the dog who's in the dog kennel. So that note is D. Press pause here and see how many D's you can find on the piano. Remember to use your right hand when you're playing the high notes and your left hand when playing the low notes. So now that you know C and D, which note do you think comes after D? Yes, it's E. And then if we go one up, you'll land on the front door, which is F. Then after F comes G. Then if you remember, I mentioned that the musical alphabet ends on G and starts again with A. So the note after G is going to be A and then B, and then we're back to the pesky little cat, C. You know it's C, because C is the front door to the dog kennel. Wow, you've just named all the notes on the piano. Isn't that great? It's really important that you take some time to practice finding all these notes. So there are some printable worksheets to help you do that, and also, when you've had a chance to spend some time with your special helper finding the different notes, you can try the quiz at the end of this video. If you find the quiz a little tricky, don't worry. Just watch this video again and press pause as many times as you need to, to keep finding your new notes. It's really important that you're comfortable naming all those notes before we go on to the next video. So please take your time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll use the new notes you've just learned to play a song I think you know. See you in a bit.